welcome back to our channel so a couple of you had requested to see how I got this high ponytail that I had in my last video so yeah this is just what this video is about and if you do like this video don't forget to like it and if you're not subscribed do not forget to subscribe but uh yeah Hey good people, so I'm starting out with my hair pretty limp and boring and it's pretty dirty so I'm going to start by sectioning off my hair because we're going to be applying some clip-ins and I leave a lot of hair out so I'm able to put my hair in a high ponytail and yeah so I'm going to be using these three clip wefts and I am going to be clipping that to my hair obviously and these are the clip-ins from Better Lane Clip-In and I have a review of those clip-ins on the page I really like them so I'm going to be going in now with another is this another three clip no that is that a three clip yeah that's another three clip and I'm only going to be applying four clip-ins in my hair and sometimes I only do three clip-ins so not a lot we want our hair to be as flat as possible so now I'm going to do another section and this time I'm going to be applying a four weft clip-in and that's just going to get a wider area so I would say after you have applied at least three clip-ins in I would tell you to begin brushing your hair back because um, you want to see what the hair is looking like. You want to get a good idea of what your ponytail is looking like. If you need to move some clips around because sometimes things will look bumpy. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of getting a gauge of what the ponytail looks like. And brushing it out to see if there's anything that needs adjustments. Like if you see some bumps, like I clearly see some bumps right now. And I'm going to like adjust those. And what you do with that is like you just take the clip that's being a little stubborn. And then you bring it further down on your head. So that it looks flatter, if that makes sense. Um, I'm going to end up doing it again. But as you can see, I'm just going to bring it a little bit downer, down and make it look a little more flat. And then I'm going to be putting my hair in a ponytail, just a rough draft type ponytail, so I can start to smooth out my hair and start to mold how I want my hair to look. And it will make sense a little bit later, but yeah, I always do this after I do three clips and then I go in and make adjustments. So now I'm going to be going in with my Olive Miracle uh, Moisture Lotion and I'm going to use this to kind of put my flyaways down. This is going to be like my gel for the moment. And after you do this, you'll be really able to see the bumps. And I see a bump right there, so I'm going to have to adjust it. That's a no-no. But yeah, that's what I do with the moisturizing gel. It just smooths your hair down so you can really see what you're doing without putting gel in. Because sometimes if you go in with gel and you need to change things, it's a little bit harder. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And as you can see, my ponytail looks a little bit like, it looks a little sad. It looks a little thin. So I'm going in with some more clips, well one clip. And this is a two clip weft. And I'm just going to put that in the center of my head just to add some more thickness. Now my hair is short, so I have to use about three or four clips. If your hair is shorter than mine, you might need to use more. Um, or if your hair is longer than mine, you might need to only use a little bit less. So now I'm going to be going in with my Eco Styles Gel. And this is going to be the like icing on the cake. This is what makes it look like super sleek and super defined and just clean. So I get that on the front of my hair and I also do the back of my hair. I'm good for like not putting gel on the back of my hair, like completely forgetting about my kitchen in the back. So I'm taking some argan oil and I'm going to be using that just to put it on top of my hair just to add some shine and just seal everything in. And if you have some short pieces like your real hair, you can just bobby pin that, wrap it around the ponytail and just wrap it. And yeah, so that is pretty much it guys. It's really, really easy. I told y'all it was nothing to it. But yeah, thanks for watching. See y'all next time. Bye.